Hello everyone, this is Ashok here. So, welcome you all to my YouTube channel, Ashok Tutorials. So, this is my first ever educational video. So, uh, the name of my channel is Ashok's Tutorial. So, here I will be uh, I will be posting the videos which are related to educational purposes. All right. So, as of now, especially uh, I want to run a series of videos. Uh, which will be related to MTET, that is Meghalaya Teachers Eligibility Test. All right. So, so why have I decided to make videos? Is because when I was preparing for my MTET examination, what happened? I found I went to market to buy the books, and I found that uh, the total cost for buying the books of paper one and paper two it comes something around fifteen hundred to sixteen hundred, and what I feel is that we all are not that rich to afford to buy uh, the books costing around 2000 just for a single examination, right? So what I have decided is that uh, whatever way I can help you, I will try to help you all, right? And for your knowledge, I just want to say that I have already qualified my MTED exam last year and also I have qualified my seated exam that is central teachers eligibility test which is conducted by the CBSE that is central board of secondary education all right so what I feel is that uh, I have struggled a lot regarding the study materials so I just uh, want to give it a try to help you all those who are preparing or aspiring to become uh, LP and UP teachers so those who are preparing for your MTED examination. So I will try my best to help you with the study materials also, whichever I have collected during my studies. All right. So I will share those notes as well with you. And to be honest, I have not bought any of the books, paper one, paper two, which was costing me around uh, 1600, 1700. So I have not bought any. Uh, however, I have prepared my, I have prepared for my examination uh, totally online all right well i would like to suggest you not to buy the books and uh, one thing i can assure you is that like uh, if you follow me and follow my videos uh, at least pass mark you will get all right and you know in this kind of examination like mtet or ctet we just need to qualify the examination there is no no scene of uh, scoring higher or lesser, right? As far as my knowledge is concerned, what I feel, what I know is that uh, you just have to qualify. Once you qualify, means you qualify, right? So uh, the main, uh, the main, the main, what to say, the part is your interview, right? Which will be conducted before appointing. So for that also you have to prepare, right? And also all your academic records is taken into account so uh, my suggestion is this that uh, you follow the videos I will try to upload the videos and then so today see let me discuss the syllabus with you first so there are two papers that is paper one and paper two right so paper one is for so paper one is for the for the teachers who want to become the teachers of classes one to five that is lower primary section lp section all right and paper two is for the teachers who want to become the teachers of classes six to eight that is up section or upper primary section all right so in paper one we have five subjects and in paper two we have four subjects so how we will discuss that and the total Oh yes, in paper, there is exception, right? In paper two, there, there are some exceptions. So that also I will discuss. And then, uh, what to say? So each paper will be conducted for two hours and 30 minutes, all right? And it will carry total 150 marks, 150. And there is no negative marking. So you are very much free to mark any, any uh, option even if you are not very sure all right and uh, there is also a thing 
uh, I want to share is that like uh, it does not mean that you have to write both the papers all right you can opt for any be it paper one or paper two if you want to become the teacher of LP section then you have to write paper one if you want to become the teacher of UP section then you have to write paper two and if you want to become the teachers of both the sections then you have to write both the papers there is paper one and paper two all right and yes one more thing is that uh, I would like like to urge you to buy the not buy to download the OMR sheet all right so these sheets you can download from the internet and you can practice because the two examinations which has been conducted by government of Meghalaya emptied examinations so the examination was conducted in offline mode only and we were get we were given OMR sheet right so you have to you have to write your examination there only all right so you need to practice that now you might be wondering why do i need to practice see omr sheet is a very what to say it's a very unique or a typical one so without practicing it you it will be like a, in the examination hole you will feel like a, uh you might find it a little bit tough so uh it's always better to like to see see how does uh an OMR sheet looks like right so I would encourage you to uh, to download yes to of course to download it free of cost and practice it print out and practice all right well dear friends now let us try to see the emptied syllabus overview paper by paper right so first of all we see we will see about paper one well so first of all first of all let us see uh, let us see about paper one that is LP section all right for class one to class five so here all right so let me show you with this pen so here there are different subjects that is uh, child development and pedagogy this is one subject first subject then the second comes language one then the third comes language two then the fourth comes mathematics and the fifth one is environmental science or EVS and this child development and pedagogy is also known as CDP. All right, we call it C in short, child development and pedagogy. So we call it CDP. So the CDP child development and pedagogy is for 30 marks. Remember this. And there are in total seven units. So these all these units we will discuss one by one right then secondly we have language to see here there is uh, something very special about it here language i mean here language one i have taken as garo right example of garo so in either in language one or language two you can choose english or any mil language like khasi then nepali hindi bengali assamese right any language you can choose but if you ask for my suggestion i will suggest you to choose the subject which you feel easy as language one and the subject which you feel a little bit tough as language two so uh, all right so here i have taken the example of garo it can be any i can also take garo as language two and english as language one or you can also take khasi as language two and english as language one or Khasi as language one in English as language two. So any MIL subject can be paper language one or language two. All right. So language one is for 30 marks. All right. So there are eight units altogether in language one. So this will these units will differ, right? This unit will differ for Khasi, for Nepali, for Hindi. So uh, in English it will be same so language 2 if you take it as language 2 it will also be for 30 marks and there will be six units altogether then this is mathematics all right so mathematics will be for 30 marks and there are 13 units one three units now environmental science environmental science is also known as e v n s right e v n s well so evs means environmental science so this is also for 30 marks so when you plus all these 30 marks it will become how much 150 all right so total marks given will be 150 and the total time given will be 2 hours and 30 minutes all right so 
this is all about uh, paper one all right so in paper one yes one more thing i was forgetting is that all the subjects are compulsory all right from uh, like whatever background you're coming from you have to write all the all these five subjects in order to qualify paper one all right so this is all for paper one thank you well now let us come to paper two and this paper two is for up section or upper primary section and this is uh, for the teachers who want to become the teachers of classes six to eight all right so here uh, we have different subjects so let us see see this cdp child development and pedagogy we have uh, this subject is common all right we have it in paper one as well as in paper two so when you are preparing for paper one you are also preparing it indirectly for paper two all right so you have to prepare it thoroughly this cdp or child development and pedagogy and this will again be for 30 marks and there will be seven units altogether right then another subject we have here see this is also same which means uh, one will be language one and another one will be language two right language one and language two and the story is same here as well uh, the story is same which means that if you have taken mil as language one you have to take english as language two and if you have taken mil as language two you have to take english as language one and as far as my suggestion is concerned i would uh, urge you to take uh, mil as language one and english as language two all right so this will be for 30 max each and in language one and specifically for garo there are six units all right and in language two for for english there will be seven there will be seven uh units all right now let us come to unit i mean serial number four and serial number five so as i was telling you there are exceptions for serial number four and five all right so teachers who want to write mathematics and science they can skip this social science all right they can skip social science and they can write science and mathematics so which means 30 plus 30 is equal to 60 marks it will be total all right so uh, and there will be for mathematics we have 17 units and and for science we have six units respectively all right and in and if you ask for total it will be 17 plus 6 that is 20 Three, all right for mathematics and science now let's come to social science or social studies all right this is social studies well so social studies alone is for 60 marks all right don't think that this is alone however uh, it has got uh, what to say uh, history then political science or civics then geography and economics altogether right and this will be for 60 marks and there will be four different units all right there will be four different units in it so when you calculate all these marks it will come up come as 15150 same as people one all right so here there is an exception as i told you if you're writing social studies you don't have to write science and maths and if you're writing science and maths you don't have to write social studies all right vice versa so you have to be very clear with this and also i have mentioned here as in star star point star mark so you can see it for yourself what i have written all right and then see as i have told you in paper one this one also you can mark with star and this one also you can mark with star which means if you are preparing for paper one you're also preparing for paper two right so this is how the gist of uh, emptied syllabus looks like so this is paper one see cdp language one language two is same and also mathematics is same up to some extent and here the only thing is different which is different is environment evas and here it is totally different one is uh, social studies and another one is mathematics and science right so i think this was uh, clear for you an overview of the syllabus and if anything i have missed missed out here so whenever i discuss the syllabus in detail that time i will discuss it with you all right so i hope this was help helpful so if this was helpful please uh, give it a thumbs up and 
comment in the comment section whether which part you have liked which part you want me to improve so you are always welcome to give me feedbacks positive feedbacks and uh, i always uh, what to say mm, i will appreciate your efforts and i will try my best to uh, to cover the entire syllabus of MTET so that uh, you can pass the examination without without buying any books and through online source and as much as possible I will try to give you the notes as well or whatever the notes I have prepared during my preparation that uh, that I will share with you all right so in order for you to take the screenshot let me just let me just uh, clear it off for you all right well take the screenshot of paper one let me give you a few seconds i hope you have already taken the screenshot now let's go to paper two here as well i give you a few seconds to take the screenshot please take the screenshot i have you have taken the screenshot so this was all in this first video of mine so i hope you will give your love and support to my channel and to my videos and with this uh, small initiative, I hope I will be able to help each and everyone, whoever is trying to prepare for the AMTED examination through online source. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you.